Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang. Today is Memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor. St. John Chrysostom was born in, at Antioch about the year 400, 349. After an extensive education, he embraced a life of, as a citizen. He was ordained a priest and distinguished himself by his preaching, which achieved great spiritual results among his hearers. He was elected Bishop of Constantinople in 397 and proved himself a capable pastor committed to reforming the life of the clergy and the faithful. Twice he was forced into exile by the hatred of the imperial court and the envy of his enemies. After he had completed his difficult labors, he died at Comana in Pontus on September 14, 407. His preaching and writing explained Catholic doctrine and presented the ideal Christian life. For this reason, he is called Chrysostom or Golden Mouth. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my and mouth shall declare, declare your, your praise. praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Please be seated. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. My song is for mercy and justice. I, wish, I sing to you, O Lord, I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false, heart, the false hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning, I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. 
Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name. For you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were holocaust of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow your unreservedly, for those who trust in you and cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with whole, our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind? Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, red them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the tentering harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, who willed that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has destined in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, 
administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Please stand. great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nung namatay po ang anak nung isang balo na lalaki, hindi lang po siya nawala ng anak. Nawalan din siya ng siguridad. Nawalan din siya ng kinabukasan. Mawawalan siya ng yaman. Mawawalan siya ng ari-arian. Mawawala ang kanilang pangalan. Kasi kapag ikaw ay balo, hindi ka pwedeng mag-angkin ng yaman. 
kukunin at kukunin ito. Sino nang magpapatuloy ng iyong pangalan? Sino nang magsasabi na salin lahi kung sino ka, kung anong iyong ginawa? Makakalimutan ka? Maghihirap ka? Maglilimus ka? Iiyak ka? Magmamakaawa ka? Magtitiis ka? At yun ang mangyayari sa balo na walan ng kaisa-isa niyang anak na lalaki. Mag-iisa siya. At doon sa puntong yun, doon sa sitwasyong yun, doon sa pangyayaring yun, kung saan nawala ang lahat doon sa balo, saktong dumating si Kristo. Sa panahong kailangan kailangan siya. Sa mga panahong pong yun, sinabi yung anak na lalaki ay namatay in the same day, ililibing. Dahil wala pong imbal sa noon, kailangan ilibing agad dahil mag-aalingasaw. Pero nung ililibing na, yung kanyang anak at kasama doon ililibing ang kanyang kinabukasan, ang kanyang ari-arian, ang kanyang yaman, ang kanyang pangalan, saktong dumating si Jesus. Saktong dumating. At nung nakita ni Jesus ang pangyayari yun, ang larawang yun, na may isang balong umiiyak na alam niyang mawawala ng lahat sa kanya. Anong sinabi dito? Jesus was moved with pity. Pero sa tingin ko, hindi lang yun. Dahil yung balo na nakita ng ating Panginoong Jesus, nakita niya sa kanya kung ano ang mangyayari kay Maria kapag siya ay nawala. Kapag mamamatay si Jesus at alam niyang mamamatay na siya sa mga susunod na mga araw, hindi tatagal mamamatay din siya. Alam ng ating Panginoon yun. At nung nakita niya yung balo, nakita niya si Maria. Kaya't ganun na lang ang habag at awa na naramdaman niya. Dahil kung mamamatay siya, si Maria ay mag-iisa, si Maria ay maghihirap, si Maria ay mawawala ng pangalan, mawawala ng ari-arian, mawawala ng salinlahi. Ganun na lang ang kanyang habag na nakita. Kaya't anong sabi ng ating Panginoon? Puman, do not weep. Sabi ng Panginoon, tahana. Tahana. Parang sinasabi niya, ako nang bahala. Ako nang bahala sa iyo. Sa saktong panahon na kailangan-kailangan siya, dumating ang Panginoon. Tahan na. At nung binuhay ng ating Panginoon ulit, yung lalaki, anong nangyari? Hindi lang nabuhay, hindi lang ibinalik ang buhay ng binata. At ibinalik din ng Panginoon kung ano ang nawala doon sa balo. Maibabalik ang kanyang siguridad. Maibabalik ang kanyang yaman. Maibabalik ang kanyang kinabukasan. Maibabalik ang kanyang pangalan. At yun din ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Noong ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay namatay, dahil sa ating kasalanan, ano ang nawala sa sangkatauhan? Ano ang nawala? Pagiging anak ng Diyos. Nang dahil sa ating kasalanan, nawala ang ating kaharian kung saan tayo dapat papunta. Nang dahil sa kasalanan, nawala ang iyong yaman. Nang dahil sa kasalanan, Nawala ang biyaya. <clears throat> nawala ang siguridad. Nawala ang grasya. 
Pero nung nabuhay muli ang ating Panginoon, ibinalik sa sangkatauhan kung ano ang nawala. Ibinalik ang pangalan na ikaw ay anak ng Diyos. Ibinalik ang iyong yaman. Ang grasya at biyaya ng Panginoon. Ibinalik ang iyong siguridad na lahat tayo may pupuntahan. Ang kaharian, ibinalik ang ating buhay at buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya yung larawan na yun ay hindi lang patungkol sa balo, hindi lang patungkol kay Maria, kundi patungkol sa ating lahat. nanawalan dahil sa kasalanan. At alam niyo po, is, bawat isa sa atin ay may bit-bit-bit-bit na bangkay araw-araw. May kanya-kanya kang bangkay na binibit-bit papunta sa Panginoon. At ano yun? Ano yung mga bangkay na bit-bit mo araw-araw? Ay yun yung mahahalagang bagay sa buhay natin na alam mong unti-unting mawawala. Relasyon? Yaman? Kalusugan? Kaya nga, ang daming nasa hospital ngayon. Yaman nila yung kalusugan. Pero alam nila unti-unting mawawala. Mangihina sila. Magmamakaawa sila. Mga ngailangan sila ng tulong. Trabaho? Mahalaga sa iyo yun. Mapapatanong tayo, ano yung bangkay na bit-bit mo araw-araw na gusto mong ihatid sa harap ng ating Panginoon? na sana dumating siya sa takdang panahon, sa tamang oras, kung saan kailangan-kailangan mo siya dahil kapag ito ay mawawala, hindi lang yun ang mawawala, kundi ikaw. Kundi kinabukasan mo, pangalan mo, yaman mo, lahat. Pero alam niyo po kung anong hamon sa atin? Alam niyo po kung anong hamon sa atin? Na sana kagaya ni Kristo, dumating tayo sa tamang pagkakataon, sa tamang panahon, para sa mga taong nangangailangan ng tulong. Na sana maibalik mo rin yung dati nilang sigla. Na sana maibalik mo yun yung nawala. Sana maibalik mong kustisya. Sana maibalik mo yung ligaya. Sana maibalik mo. Alam po natin, hindi natin kayang gawin yun araw-araw. Pero yun ang paanyaya. Dahil ang bawat isa sa atin ay may dala-dala. Pero sana dumating ka para maging instrumento para maibalik kung anong nawala at hindi maging paraan para tuluyang malibing kung ano ang daladala nila. Hindi ikaw magiging dahilan para ilibing kung ano ang daladala nila. Please stand. To show His divine compassion and authority, Jesus performed miracles filled with awe at these wonders. Let us pray to the Father who sent us such a Savior. For every petition we shall answer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that God's love and care may be shown to the, our people through the guidance and help of our church pastors 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the state may become a channel of God's compassionate love by the special attention and assistance they extend to the poor and the sick people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have recently suffered the loss of the loved ones may be with God's help, recover their faith in life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the widow's son, sick people may experience the healing hand of Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñafort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and the pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased brethren, relatives, and friends, especially Father Rafael Quijada O.P., may they enjoy eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, guide us in our gestures to touch the brokenhearted and help them experience your Son who has come among us, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spirit well trained. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice, which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom, be pleasing to you, O Lord, for taught by him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safely in his Please stand. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, 
to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on hearts shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What, what you say, say of me does, does not come from, from yourselves. It, it is, is the Spirit, Spirit of, the of the Father, Father speaking in you. Let us pray. Grant to merciful God that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo kung saan man kayo paroroon mamaya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down in you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.